Well, I didn't intend to strip the, uh, the shaper down to uh, the bare bones, but in a rush of blood to the head and uh, with some encouragement from yarn um, and also uh, discovering a little bit of wear in places, we've partly dismantled it so far. And uh, so now that it's down this far, um, the intention is to... Uh, take it completely to pieces, uh, clean it, sandblast it perhaps, uh, but definitely repaint it. So what have we got? Uh, so we've taken the, um, the top slide off, which was a bit of a mission because when that's facing the wrong way, um, this is the Scotch yoke, I believe that's the name of this part, uh, when it's facing the wrong way the top slide won't come off. So see the top slide, um, that's in pretty good condition uh, we'll take the uh, clapper box off and uh, clean that up and get it repainted um, you can still see on the ways here uh, you can still see evidence of the original well I assume it's the original scraping I don't think the machine has ever had any uh, repairs or maintenance done to it it, uh, it came from a high school and uh, I don't know the date of the machine, but I will attempt to find that out. Uh, I would imagine that it spent its entire life being uh, misused and abused by uh, young lads. And um, so I don't think that that um, scraping is anything else but original. Now, there is some wear on the yoke, and this is the real reason why, uh, why I took it to pieces, because this block This block here runs up and down inside the yoke and there's a fair amount of play there. In fact you can just about see it from here. Um, I have measured, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's 15, 15 thousandths between uh, in here between the, uh, the block and the yoke. And I've done a quick measurement of that slot there and it's not quite even so I'm not quite sure what to do about that whether I'll machine it parallel um, I certainly I'll make a new um, I'll machine up a new block that's uh, not at all difficult um, it's a it's, it's um, steel it's not cast um, there is a, a cast inner which has come to uh, grief at some stage in its life but uh, that's not not an issue uh, the biggest issue is this area here. Um, this fork runs on a pin down inside the bowels of the machine and you probably can't see it. It's actually, well I can, I can see it in the camera. It's, uh, but I can't get my hand to it. It's that shiny pin that uh, is running left to right um, below the, the, the gear here. And that, that pin is pressed into the body of the machine so it's not easily removable and it runs inside uh, this fork here and there's a fair amount of wear. I've done a measurement uh, with a micrometer as best I can down inside the bowels of the machine there. I can only get one hand down there unfortunately so uh, and also that pin is worn on the sides but not the top and the bottom because it doesn't rotate um, and I don't know how it's supposed to be lubricated uh, because there is no lubrication anywhere apart from what falls on it or runs down the uh, the Scotch yoke. Um, I assume that is the Scotch yoke. Um, anyway, oh, that's what I'm calling it. So there's a bit of wear. There's quite a bit of wear here. Uh, and now it's. I mean, it's not really an issue, but it causes a bit of a clonk each time the machine runs. So, and I can't get the pin out. Um, well. I haven't tried very hard, but I expect that that pin will be pressed in. It may even be shrunk in place. Uh, and the last thing I want to do is crack um, the housing. All right, that's the end of the pin there, just below the label. And it's, well, no, it looks about an inch and a quarter. Um, and I think it's pressed into the housing, into the uh, casting. 
and I don't want to risk try, trying to get it out. So I've got two options. Uh, one is just to put up with it. Um, and the section, second option is to build these surfaces up uh, with bronze and then machine it back until it's a tight fit on the on the worn pin. Now that's assuming that the pin is worn evenly and of that I'm not sure. Um, leaving it as it is is an option uh, because repairing this block here and also repairing the play in there. There's, there's quite a bit of play in that um, in that pin there which is an easy repair so yeah, I, I don't know whether you can see that movement, but I mean, it, that, that, there really is a lot of play there. Uh, this is made of bronze by the look of it. In fact, I'll confirm that in a minute. So, uh, yeah, so, so removing that pin, pushing that pin out, uh, machining the, um, machining the uh, journal, I suppose you call it, the hole, uh, making a new pin, and also uh, remachining uh, this part here will not be at all difficult and that will make a big difference to the way the machine sounds. I mean all this is just because, I mean the, it won't make the machine run any better uh, but it'll certainly sound a lot better. At the moment there's a bit of a clonk.